Hey Marauders, it's Wednesday. So as per stated by Miranda in her video, this week's theme is top five favorite books. I hate these, they make me have to choose, choosing is hard. So I'm going a little bit around the theme and making a whole series count as one book. Take that, guys who make up rules. Here they are in no particular order because putting them in an order would add a level of decision making that I just couldn't do. The entire Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. As I said in my last video, Harry has gotten me through a lot. He's been there for 10 years of my life. How can something that's been there for so long not affect you? Harry Potter has excellent values and role models to look up to, not to mention the magic that it brings to your life and the childlike sense of awesomeness. I'm good with words, guys. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. This book was amazing. You know that moment after you finish reading the last lines of the book and you stare at them for a moment on the page and you release that breath that you've been holding inside of you and you feel like you've run a marathon yet you've just been sitting in your bed reading all day. You feel spent, but then you feel like you can take on the world, like you can do things, like you have to do things. That's how this book made me feel. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. To begin with, Marcus Zusak is a wonderful author and he makes this book beautiful. It's been a while since I've read this, but I still remember not being able to put it down and the tears that I shed over the characters and just what happened in the book. I love how you divided the book into different parts and the little title page for each of the parts and the quirky little drawings all throughout. This book makes you think a lot about books, actually, and about the power that they have over you, which is something I'm sure we all know about. I love how it was told in an unexpected way, from Death's point of view, and somehow he's lovable and you feel sympathy towards him. Everyone, everyone needs to go read this book. Go. Do it. Now, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Libba Bray is one of those awesome authors that just writes fantastic female characters, like Gemma Doyle from A Great and Terrible Beauty, and all of the characters in Beauty Queens are just awesome. It was a bit of a silly book, but it's fun and witty, and it still has underlying things that make you think. She talks about self-esteem and self-image and feminism, and it's beautiful and amazing and funny, and the footnotes, my goodness, the footnotes. Everyone should read this book. Not just girls, but boys as well, because these are all ideals that we should support. Feminism, self-esteem, and self-image, these are not just girl issues, they're everyone's issues. And Libba Bray sends a great message. Plus, it's hilarious. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This was another one of those books that left me feeling spent and wanting to go and do something. John Green creates wonderfully real characters and tells such a beautiful story along the way. This is a beautiful, very human story, and I loved it so much. I was in tears, I was laughing. It has some of the best quotes ever. I'm sure we've all read it, and if you haven't read it, then I just, I don't even know. Just, you should go and read it right now. So that's all, ladies. Kylie, I will see you tomorrow.